This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of our back here with another episode of Fable 2. In the last episode, we found the Enforcer weapon and headed off to Bloodstone, but unfortunately we got separated by our companions and now we're in the Wraith Marsh. And, uh, well, story-wise, I shouldn't be able to go back, but apparently I might be able to teleport back, but uh, we're going to ignore that for now and uh, go through the Wraith, Mar Wraith, Wraith Marsh. I was about to say something else. Oh, there's the demon door for this place. I'll show it, but I can't open it now. I don't have the I don't have the renown or or uh, people to do it at the moment. Ah, art thou perchance a devotee of mine? I have performed all the great plays, entertained kings and paupers. But doth anyone care anymore? Just because the great Philip Morley called me the greatest actor of his generation, he wrote several of his greatest works with me in mind, you know. And now here I am, abandoned to a world of Philistines and unsophisticates. I ask only for an audience to witness my talents one last time, so that I may pierce their souls with arrows of pure art. Are there no more appreciators of the theater? Oh, how woeful, how trying to live in these times. Hmm. Well, sorry about that, dude. Basically what you need is you need ten followers plus yourself. Uh, to so that means ten followers and you. That's eleven, and um, to open the door. Uh, unfortunately, you need uh, to have people follow you. You need to have a certain amount of renown. Um, I don't know how much you actually need. Oh, there's the gate we came in on. Um, I'll have to look it up. I think I think by the time you get your final uh, uh, thing, which like uh, the scary laugh or whatever, which requires twenty five thousand, that's probably what you need to get maybe ten. But I could be wrong. But yeah, I need bit get ten people and go there. Which it looks like we got a gargoyle nearby. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can try to get the gargoyles and keys like first time through if I can help it. Uh, we'll have to. We shall have to wait and see though. Uh, and obviously we're in a new area, the Wraith Marsh. Uh, was he talking just? Maybe he's actually inside the inside the building or whatever. Yeah, it must be inside the building because oh, there's a treasure chest. Right. Yeah, finally a new area after all this time to go through. And yeah, gold necklace. Oh, you know I don't think I've read that one yet. Oh well. Yeah, right, let's go back. Yeah, I'll try to I'll try to see if I can get all the silver keys and gargoyles first time through. Might be might make this another long episode if that's the case. Uh, I think it's supposed to be. Uh, oh, come on, come on, game. Maybe he is inside. Oh, there you are. Haha. -ha. Luckily, you're close enough. I can hit you with the blunder bus. All right. Actually, I think there's quite a few, like, gargoyles and keys in this place, if I remember correctly. Oh, we could sleep, but I don't need to. Uh, let's see what's in here. Toy sword. Children are never too young to learn about how to wield a sword, though this is a, perhaps a little too large for a toddler. I don't think so. It's never too large. Money bag? Eh, not much, but whatever. Come on. Mushy tofu? On, on its way out, but still nutritious and cleansing. Cleansing. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of when we go to the old gray house in the previous game, where, you know, it's like all in this not quite marshy area or whatever, but. Uh, okay. Well, actually, I can show you how many. Um, not there. Uh, on the region map. Let's see. Where? Oh, we not unlocked it yet? Uh, no. Okay. We probably have to finish this section before we can unlock it. But it's, I think it's like seven, uh, like six gargles and seven like silver keys. So yeah, this place has a lot. So they saved a they saved a big chunk of them for this area apparently. I think there was supposed to be a silver key around this general area if I remember correctly. I think, or a treasure chest. Let me see, I'm trying to... 
might be a bit oh no it's it's further into the town itself or whatever this place used to be anyway basically the plan for this is to is to go through the race marsh and try to get to bloodstone on our way to find reaver now why is he out here in the middle of wherever pit sand nowhere i don't know but although he's, he is a, he said he's a pirate so i guess that makes sense so. Let's keep looking around. Uh, Wraith Marsh. I wonder. Yep, there's where. Yep, there's another gargoyle right here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I was about to say, wait, waiting for the dog. Let's see where this one is. Hey, Amethyst. Amethyst, Pearl, Garnet, you know, all, all the all the classics. Well, they're only classes because of that cartoon before people only gem. Oh, there you are. Haha. -ha. Nice. And now we're closer. Like I said it won't be until the end of the game until we max it out. Or, But still. Now let's see what's in here. Oh, 20 gold. What's inside this? Oh, 5 gold. Okay. Should be running across our first silver key here pretty soon. It should be in one of the buildings, I think. I actually have a... I usually try not to do this, but in this case, I have a map pulled up for... Um, for uh, for the gargoyles and silver keys, so that way I can have a rough idea where they're at. That way save us some time. And I don't know why I just decided to... Uh, the soft flaky shell can barely contain the divine cuts of tender beef stuffed inside. I decided to wear something just grossly, like, over-the-top silly for this section. So wearing a powdered wig, checkered pants, and all this other stuff. Just for funsies. Uh, I don't know, just because I'm in a swamp. I don't know. I already have those, but... Is there someone in here, boy? Yeah, they're growling at stuff, you know. Alright, money back. Oh, come on. There we go. Diluted tomato juice. Tomato. Alright. Ooh, there it is. Haha. -ha. Didn't tell me beforehand, huh? Did you, dog? Well, anyway. Now that's the first silver key. I guess just make sure to check all the houses and everything. The down drowned farm. Oh, if it's added to their map, it must mean we can now check region locations. Uh, Wraith Marsh. Okay, six gargoyles. I thought I thought it was still seven gargoyles or whatever. Anyway, sorry, six and six. So, uh, and now we have the down farm location to teleport to. Looks like there's a. Okay, I can't go down there yet, so I have to remember. Uh. That's why we can't teleport because the game we're in quest mode. So, but yeah, I just have to remind myself to go check the uh, uh, check the well, well after after we're done with this section. Well, I said I want to. I don't know if I'll be able to get to, to what. Something in the marsh is controlling the fog and using it against you. You need to find the source and destroy it. Well, for a lady without a face, she's kind of hot. Uh, all right, we're fighting the boss against the Banshee. That's oh, like little dudes and do that. Little uh, little toys or puppets or whatever. All right, come on, lady. Oh, that was easy. Well done, but be careful. There may be more, so stay on your guard. I may lose contact with you again because of the fog. Really? Because of the fog, huh, Teresa? Not any other reason? Oh, I should have read that. Oh, well. But yeah, it's like, Manchi boss, and I hit a couple shots. Then again, the game... I don't know if the game expected you to have, like, certain weapons at a point with him. Although the Enforcer is paused, I think you can even... I'm not sure about the quest itself to unlock the Cullis if you don't kill Giles and his crew. Um, 
So I'm not sure if maybe that's one of those where uh, looks like more undead are being summoned. Or at least it sounds like it anyway with that little t -t -t -t, whatever you want to call it. Maybe I'm imagining things. Let's check this house as well. And then here. Because uh, the only thing I don't have up on the map is like where chests and like silver chests and stuff like that are. That I still have to kind of generally look up. But I don't want to be like, like I said, I still want to like explore and everything like that because, you know, haven't been here in ages, so. Fermented tofu. Ah, I forgot to read it again. Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, I'll give you a reason to play the game, if anything. Popper blouse. This grim, grimy and ill-fitting top will probably give you a terrible rash. Uh, ooh, eau de ob perfume. Someone has managed to cram all the scent of a hob into one reeking bottle. Why? The world may never know. No human should ever willingly apply this to the body or attire, but I'll take it anyway. Alright. Nope, nothing else here. Yeah, just it'll give you a reason to buy and play this game just for all the funny anecdotes and silly sayings on, on a lot of these items, so. Mm, nothing in here. Okay. Oop. Well, it took you guys a while to form up. Form up to form Voltron. You know, maybe I should be using the, um, the, uh, uh, not the Reaver, the, uh, oh, what's this? Nothing. Uh, maybe I should be using the weapon I got from, uh, from donating to the light or whatever. This used to be Oakvale, though it has changed radically since I saw it last, and that was a long time ago. It has seen many a cruel deed. Six hundred years ago, bandits attacked the village and burned it to the ground. The survivors rebuilt their lives, only to have them destroyed a second and final time. A new threat came from within. A reckless young villager made a deal with the forces of Shadow, who took the lives of every other resident at payment. All of his family, all of his friends, everyone he loved. And now, the marsh has engulfed the village, and Oakvale is nothing but a bitter memory. Yeah, despite, even if you save Oakville or build it up in the previous game, I mean, it's been like a thousand years since the previous game or whatever, or maybe 600 years or whatever, but, um, but yeah, how would Teresa know all this stuff? Hmm, makes you wonder. But anyway, yep, this is Oakville, so Wraith Marsh is Oakville. After all this time, yeah, you can even see, you know, like, when you walk down the thing, you can tell the same geometry from before, so. Can't go in there. I don't even remember what that was. I don't know oh, that wasn't a building. Obviously, 600 years ago, obviously, this place would not be the exact same place it was last time. So, I know I'm not supposed to go this way, but I thought I'd look and show you old Oakvale. The church and everything like that. Yep. Time flies by when you're in different game scenarios. Okay. Well, anyway. Oh, more undead. I really need to start working using my uh, melee weapon instead, just to build it up a bit. Although I've almost started max, I'm, I'm getting to the part where I'm starting to max out a lot of abilities at this point. You know, like um, um, I've maxed out uh, brutal style, dexterity or style, whatever. Mastered a couple of spells. Huh. Celery, you say? Oh, I forgot to read it. <laughs> Whoops. I keep doing that. I just I just grab the item and go, like as if I haven't I mean I've read it quite a few things, but you know, because I've I've been inconsistent with my reading, I don't remember um everything I've read or haven't read. But oh well. Okay, let's follow it now. I was just seeing what was over there. And I think most of the, as far as I remember, I think most of the keys and uh whoops, sorry. 
I think most of the keys and, and gargoyles, I think I can get through the first run. I haven't read every little detail about just the general location of some of them, so for the purposes of finding them. But I think I, I think I can. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. I do believe it spooks. I do believe it spooks. I do. I do. I do believe it spooks. Nothing on there. Try going around here. Oh, there's a treasure. So let's grab that first. Let's see what's inside. I bet the dog can sense the uh, the undead. Money bag. Oh. I keep resorting to the, to the uh, gun. Well, I mean, it's the most powerful thing in my uh, repertoire. There's another one over there. Must be on the bridge somewhere. Let's not see it. Oh, there it is. Haha. -ha. Oh, wait. Let me take care of you first. There we go. Okay, it's right up there. Nice. I am the worst marksman of all time because I shot your happy ass. You see, I am better than you in every way. Should be coming across another silver key here pretty soon, too. But, uh... I think a little bit further, anyway. It's easy just to slash at these guys. Then just to make up all these, like, weird plans. Well, that's what happens when you start maxing out, like, physique and stuff like that. Which almost, if you want to try to keep your, if you want to try to keep your female hero feminine, it's almost hard to like, like keep her that way because well, one age happens, so there's like almost nothing you can really do about that part. But two, if you want to actually do damage, you have to like, you have to like put it either into like magic skill or or a br brutal. So at least if you do it in skill, she gets taller. So if you want more of an Amazonian look, I guess you could go for that. But if you want strange, she becomes like kind of becomes a uh, FBB at that point, which uh, it's a good, which some people like that, which is fine. I'm just saying if you try to keep your character more like a like a feminine looking uh, standard hero, you're probably not gonna get that in this game. That was probably one of the most main complaints people had with it was that like if you wanted her to look that way, you could, but some people who either wanted the power but she would still look like that, there was like really nothing they could do about it. I don't know, I didn't really have that big of an issue. Not really. I almost thought that the point of it was supposed to be kind of almost comical. Like, just how buff and over-the-top you got looked wise. So I was just... You know, that's just my feeling about it at the time. Obviously, nowadays, with people wanting to heavily customize their characters in games, it's, it's a turn-off for some people. I mean, you still can customize this character. It's just her, her stature or, or build... You're making good progress. You're about halfway through the marshes now. You'll be in Bloodstone before you know it. Before I know it. If you say so, Teresa, at least you don't have to do this. Well, that was easy. <laughs> and done. Where, where are we on the map? Uh, Alright, let me double check my... Uh... Okay, there's one I can't... Let's see. There's a gargoyle I can't... Let's see. Okay, so there's one I can't get now because it requires me to enter a place. Probably a mission or something like that, so... Same with a key. Um, is not... Okay. Well, that's good to know. Sorry, I'm just clicking around on the map there just to verify if I've actually missed anything or not. So, there should be like a gargoyle coming up here soon. And then a, a silver key in, the, in this general area. But yeah, there's a there's a place I can't get to yet until I finish this. And like I said, it's probably a mission. Um, so, the, that, so, the first time through I can't get... We got new uh, enemies? But it said like Elder Holloman or something like that. Oh! 
Yep, there's more. We've got a badass over here. Well, let's summon some uh, villains to fight villains, shall we? Or undead to fight undead. There we go. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Thank you, undead companions. Thank you. Ah, there it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. Yeah, silver key. Nice. Should be a gargoyle coming up here pretty soon, too, I think. If I remember correctly. Okay, just a little bit farther ahead, but yeah. I, I would hope if I had missed that silver key the first time, or not seeing it while I was looking around, that the dog would point it out. But I don't know. The dog's been kind of pointing out stuff everywhere. Like, I think it should, but it's not. So, I don't know. Yeah, I thought he was running or something. But should be. There you are. I was about to say, should be running or something. There's that one. Oh, more undead off in the distance. Hmm. Maybe you should jump down here? No. Okay. Although with the fact that I can buy all those, now that I think about it, with all those potions I can buy to like max out my skills and everything like that, maybe I don't even have to worry about using certain weapons or abilities if I just don't want to. I don't know. I think I think the reason I'm just trying to do stuff a little bit different is just to change it up a bit every once in a while. Because sometimes doing dominant strategy all the time can get a little, a little old quickly. When you do the same thing over and over again. And that's really not the game's fault in this case, I think, because, you know, it gives me a choice to play however I want, really, so. Hmm. Dig spot? Dig spot? Dig dig? Dig dog? Dig dig dog. Nice. Give me that, give me that beautiful bean footage. Yeah, yeah more. <laughs> I dug up someone's wedding vow, wedding ring. Now that it's not the first heinous thing I've done in this game, that's for sure. It won't be the last. And if anyone's wondering, yes, if I ever do play the third game, which I probably will, not soon afterwards or anything like that, but eventually, I'll definitely do a, um, a, a evil hero again. I'll probably play the female. In the third game, you can play as either a male or a female hero. I'll probably play the female hero again. Mainly because the first time I play the game, I just play the male hero every time. Um... Oh, you think there would have been a dick spot over here for some reason? But mainly because, you know, usually you play like who you are. The first time you play a game, you usually play like who you want to represent as the first time. And then at, then multiple other playthroughs. Then you play like whoever else. You're like, oh, well, I'll play this this time just to see if it's any different. Which really in this game, there's, well, I mean, there is a difference between playing the two. But it's not so major that it's like, you know, that... It's more just minor differences, really, than anything. Which I guess it should be, but I don't know. To some extent, you almost want to have a different experience playing one over the other. Because otherwise, you know... Oh, Banshee again. You want me to blast you? Oh, you're not letting me. Do I have to actually kill your dudes first before you? Few survive Banshee attacks. You're nearly there, nearly safe. Hmm. Few survive them because they don't have a gun. If they were, if they were immune to guns or something like that, then yeah, it would be dangerous. But they're not. So. Oh, treasure. Probably, uh, it's probably a silver key, maybe. Because I think there's supposed to be another one right here somewhere. Oh no, it's the right here. Treasure's just. Fine dog. Why is there an Iron Maiden in this place? <laughs> maiden, Maiden, Maiden. I'm only vaguely aware of Iron Maiden and stuff like that. Not really my music scene. Bring out a child's inner highwayman with a scale model of flintlock iron. iron. Uh, uh, okay, let's me. 
Well, it's on its way to getting beaten up by cocktail carrots. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, might as well eat it. Yeah, some food gives you, um... Some food gives you, like, skill points. Not a lot, though. Um, just, like, little minor things. Like, oh, carrots give you this, or... I think there's certain, like, tofu or apples that also give you something as well. There it is. I was like, I thought there was a silver key around here somewhere. And it's right here. Okay. Oops. We can hear the gargoyles coming. Here lies Rosie, a teddy bear. Braum, perished in, a ban in the bandit attack. Here lies the charred remains of an Oakville Vale villager. The unknown traitor, perished in the bandit attack. Is that the one that was the, the hero from the first game? Probably. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder... Okay, I, I think at the beginning of the game it says it doesn't know what happened to the hero of Vale other than whether he was good or bad or whatever. But I assumed he was just a regular man even if he went all evil and taken over Jack of Blades and taken his mask. I think that would have been cool. Uh, and Spoiler, I guess. There's no... We don't encounter, like, um, Jack of Blades or... or the hero or anything like that. The hero of Vale, so don't... But I think that would have been cool if there was some DLC where we encountered, like, possibly if you possibly did the evil version of the hero, that he you would fight the hero who had uh, accepted the Jack of Blades mask as his own or something like that. I think that would have been neat, but... Kind of like in um, Star Wars Force Unleashed, the, I think it was the first one, there was a cool little bit of DLC that you... Um, that game, spoilers for The Force Unleashed, there's two versions, there's two endings to that game. There's the light side, dark side, surprise, surprise. Um, okay, so I need to, yeah, we got a different, we got a swamp troll this time, but let me see if I can show off that one, one ability where basically I slow it down and then I just hit multiple bits. Yeah, see, I was able to hit a couple before, you can usually hit two or three before the, the time thing wears out. If you're if you're good at it, um, but in the Force Unleashed there was light and dark side ending, and obviously the light side ending has its own thing, which I don't want to say anything because I don't want to anything more than that. But let's just say the dark side ending has a has something pretty major about it. Um, and the DLC you get to the DLC you get to continue the dark side ending of the game, and it's pretty. I liked it actually. I thought it's basically a, a pretty. It's a fun what if type of story, which I like. I wish I wish more games did kind of like DLC and stuff like that, but uh, no, most of them are like, hey, you get this cool hat! You know, like, whatever. You know, st stupid stuff like that. The, basically the, the, the minor, the, the, the stuff that makes a lot more money, you know. It's sad, it's true, like, uh, you know, I don't want to go into all the details, but microtransactions make give the, a lot of gaming companies a crap ton of money. It is ridiculous. It's why they don't stop doing it, you know, like, people complain, it's like, but if you look at their, like, total numbers and everything like that, they're like, yeah, we're not going to stop doing this, because, seriously, we're fighting a troll here, guys, leave me alone. Um, Yeah, people keep telling them to stop doing that, but then when you look at their actual, like, how much money they make from from all this, and you're like, yeah, they're not going to stop doing that. There's no reason to do that. At all. Like, they will, they'll tell you to suck it. Because they'll make them all this money, and the higher-ups want more money. It's never about making a, a good product anymore. And I get under, I get a, it's kind of funny how I'm talking about this stuff during a boss fight. It's because there's, like, nothing to the boss fights. It's easy. Um, I think it's easy. Anyway. But, I mean, I get trying to, you know, safeguard your company, make sure you have money to pay your employees and everything like that. But at some point, it it becomes, like, at some point, like, they just go, oh, wait, we're making this amount of money? I can afford a second house and all this other stuff? Let's keep doing it. Let's keep going, man. You know, stuff like that. And, yeah, it gets pretty ridiculous. And I think I think it's just a green corrupts and all this other stuff. Like maybe a lot of people who start out like have good intentions, but at some point something happens where they just have to keep making money. And a lot of times, like these people will make money and not even like utilize it for the right reason. Like they're like a lot of people say, oh, we're using the same power company, but a lot of times they'll just end up one person getting all that. And they won't. They won't either. They won't either save it for a rainy day fund, which you would you would think they would do. 
or spread it amongst their employees. No, it usually just ends up being like some of it might go back to the. Uh, all right, once again, the uh, my recording fee cut out. So, well, it's not like you missed much. It was like a few, like a minute of me talking about just how much certain uh, businesses suck. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I went over here. And I was talking about how there was a key I couldn't get to. Oh, this dig spot is new. This didn't pop up. I think it's because there was something attacking me. But yeah, there's a key over there. So, oh well. Luckily, it happened after I beat the troll, at least. That would suck like not showing the troll fight. I still, I don't know why it's a silver ring. It may not be made from the most precious materials, but it has a high success rate when it comes to engagements. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why this thing keeps glitching on me. I really don't. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. I'm not going to. Mess with it now. I want, at least want to get to the end of Wraith Marsh, like the end of the quest before, um, before I call it an episode. Shouldn't be too much longer though. How do I get over? I probably have to. Probably have to go through maybe like a door or something like that, or to connect over there. I bet, but we'll figure that out later. All right, we feel the troll. Now what? Ooh, Bloodstone Road. We're almost there. Come at me, bro, as I defeat you with my sword of steel. Or what other? Actually, I was about to say what other material would be as well. It could be bone, flint. Well, that would that wouldn't be really a material, but whatever. All right. No. No gargoyles popping up. I don't. I don't think there's one nearby. I think. I think it's a little bit farther. Okay, can't go that way yet. I think. Let me see. I don't. Have to double check. Uh, no gargoyles or silver keys down there. So I don't have to worry about that. That's probably like a, a quest thing or whatever. Uh. Okay, the fifth one. Or one of the gargoyles I can't get because... Okay, so two of them I can't get right now, as I'm seeing here. Uh, and... Okay, so we're good on that. Basically, a quest or story has to occur for me to get the rest of the keys. So that's good. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, which I'll talk about when we actually go into those areas, but that won't be for the that was this that won't be now. That'll be for later. All right, time to get to Bloodstone, I guess. We'll take a Bloodstorm. I mean Bloodstone. And that should finish the quest. And of course, Bloodstone is going to have its own set of uh, um, uh, gargoyles and uh, silver keys. But Bloodstone is the final. Um, town of the game to unlock, which we've now made it. So after that, it's all about either waiting for certain stories or bits to pass. Oh, that was I was like expecting something to happen, like a cutscene, which usually this game doesn't do much in the way of cutscenes. Usually, it just it the spaces them out. Toby. But uh, yeah, we get it as soon as we enter. Oh, we can just. Oh, expression statues. Um, uh, that was like maybe it's point. Oh, let's see. It's given us a couple of. Uh, what's the bottom one? Oh, that was it. Huh. Neat. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that there's a. In the graveyard, there's a couple of places. Oh wait, I can't really do much with those anyway now. I think am I? Uh, I think I'm allowed to finally now that I've entered actually. Um, I think now that I've entered Bloodstone, I think I officially can call. Um, we'll go a little bit longer, even though that'll make the episode a bit a bit longer at this point. But I think I can uh, now that we've gotten here. I think I'm good for like teleporting and all this other stuff. Mm. Oh, there's a... Oh, I didn't know there was a demon door right nearby, too. Oh, a silver key. Nice. I, I heard the demon door, like, thing. I'm trying to remember what the demon door for this one... Oh, I know what it is. I can, is I can do this one. Bedtime. 
Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I can do this one. Wait. I sense the presence of a lute player. Could it really be real music at last? Oh, maybe. I can show you, dude. But yeah, we just need to play the lute um, in front of him and play it perfectly. Where is it? Is it under social? Oh, come on. Don't just stand there. Play something, please. Okay. Fine. I'm going to rock your socks off, dude. Oh, you play wonderfully. Don't stop. I have to hit the. Unfortunately, I have to hit it like perfectly. Now hit that final note. Okay. Who I did it. Nice. Time for the big finish. Oh yes, bravo! A virtuoso performance. Simply wonderful. Yeah, that one's the easiest one. Well, actually, I don't know that. Well, I think that one is the easiest one, actually. Yeah, you don't. I I noticed in this game, the demon doors don't have as many ridiculous requirements as the previous game. Like in the previous game, remember where you had to get like a times ten combat, like um, like times or no, it wasn't times. It was like it was like times thirty or something like that. It was some ridiculous like times combat, and then you talk to him. It was a pain in the butt to try and get all those to, like, combo in them and then run to him as quickly as you could. You know, I thought it was annoying, but yeah, another house. Although I don't think it counts as an actual estate or anything like that. But uh, well, it's a nice place to <laughs> could uh, could be the home of Santa Claus for all we know. Nah, that's that's secret of mana where we have to deal with that. Eh, maybe one day I'll play that. Or it's not so nice on the inside. Boo. Hmm. Yeah, there's an Iron Maiden and everything like that in there. Alright. Well, there's gotta be a treasure around here somewhere. There it is. Uh I'm trying to remember I don't I don't remember this one having a very fancy treasure. Oh, Master Longsword. Oh I already own this. <laughs> That's right, I forgot I was about to say, uh uh well, with the cost of how much it cost to buy a Master Longsword Yes, that would be a good prize, but the fact that I have so much money at this point, I'm just like, um, okay. Oh well. I mean, like I said, just pure cost of the item, I guess, makes it worth it. But actually, does it even have any, um, uh, does it even have any slots? It might be just a straight up sword with no slots to attach to it. Yep. So it's not even, it's worse than the sword I've got because at least I have a couple of augment slots on it, so. Oh well. Back to Bloodstone. But now, now with Bloodstone activated, and we've now found the final town in the game, all that's left for us is to find Reaver. But there's so many opportunities here, as well as uh, gargoyles and um, and silver keys to find. Will we be able to find them all? Is Reaver the nicest pirate we've ever met? Find out next time in the next episode of Fable 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Oh, okay, one more dig spot. For you, dog. For you. Yeah! Yep. Totally worth it.